there's a new dawn in Burma. Days after elections saw the opposition gain a large number of seats, the United States announced it would ease sanctions. We are prepared to take steps toward, first, seeking agreement for a fully accredited ambassador in Rangoon in the coming days, followed by a formal announcement of our nominee. Mrs. Clinton also praised this man, Burma's President Thane Sein, whose reforms are bearing fruit. President Thane Sein and many of his colleagues inside the government helped launch their country on a historic new path. And while there is much to be done and significant tests lie ahead, we applaud the President and his colleagues for their leadership and courage. Last Sunday's by-elections gave Aung San Suu Kyi, the democracy campaigner, her first seat. And there were many more for her party, marking a turning point in the country that had grown used to military-backed governance. But for some, Hillary Clinton had this warning. Sanctions and prohibitions will stay in place on individuals and institutions that remain on the wrong side of these historic reform efforts. She also announced the lifting of restrictions on the export of U.S. financial services, something which could see the introduction of credit cards to Burma for the first time. The lifting of sanctions is a reward for the country's leaders, for whom the pace of reform will have been unnerving. But it doesn't end here. The military-backed party still dominates the parliament. Tom Esselmont, BBC News.